Hello, good people of YouTube. Before you click off on this video because it is a carrier video, I'm gonna suggest you stay because this this match gets pretty tense. So, yeah, stick around because it's this gets pr pretty dang heated. So, you're in for a treat. All right, so I am in. Well, hello, good people of YouTube. If I didn't say that already. <laughs> I'm in the tier eight premium German aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin. What is generally widely accepted to be the worst tier 8 carrier <laughs> because the Graf Zeppelin is extremely geared toward damaging ships like battleships and aircraft carriers against ships like destroyers and cruisers it's not that great the rocket planes the planes that I'm, at, I'm flying right now they are admittedly some of the worst rocket planes at tier 8 the planes are extremely slow the rockets themselves they do perform pretty well but the planes are just so ungodly slow and flimsy yeah on top of that the torpedo planes they're better but the torpedoes are extremely slow the dive bombers are of course the highlight of the Graf Zeppelin if you're watching my Graf Zeppelin videos the dive bombers are really nice they are dive bombers that literally just dive straight down when you start your attack run and they do have the a Stuka Siren, even though they are not Stukas, but, you know, hey, there's that. There's an Icarus. I managed to land one rocket on him, and I did 1,300 damage. We are, of course, on the Two Brothers map, one of my favorite maps in the game, because you have that nice little yellow channel down the middle. And here we go again on the Icarus, get a bit of a bigger run-up, do a bit of a predictive shot. Uh, I think I got another thousand, another single rocket hit on him. RNG just said no. Now, when the rockets do hit pretty tightly, which isn't all that uncommon if you get the full build up for the reticle to shrink out oh, there goes that last fighter you can shave five six seven thousand damage off of uh most ships i've against some uh larger cruisers like mosfa i managed to to uh cleave about 7500 damage off of him that was an entertaining salvo and you know against larger more armored targets they do do pretty well like again this ship is geared toward damaging more heavily armored targets like battleships and aircraft carriers but still it can as you'll see uh, do pretty dang good against cruisers and uh, that that fighter that I dropped to spot the enemy ships turns out turn, uh, turns around and shoots down five of these Shokaku's uh, bombers so what I did right here is I know there's a Byron somewhere back there so I just go ahead and start my attack and I figure well if I spot him I'll just drop my torpedoes last second and instead I just fly right he was actually in that smoke, I fly right by him, fly, fly right past the Fuso, and only one of my planes got damaged during that run, so I'm like, oh, that was kind of convenient. So, anyway, the Byron is spotted, and I'm going after him, because he is the, well, uh, again, the, the um, grabs up, I'm good at attacking battleships, I, I got two battles to choose from, the Fuso, and the Byron, Byron, German, bad tor tor torpedo protection, I'm in torpedo planes right now, I'm going to go after him. And Byron also doesn't have the best AA, neither does the Fuso, so again, right now, pretty nice uh, setup for me. This is also a tier 8 game, another tier 10 game, so another really good factor going in my favor. Get two torps out on the Byron, they both hit the, torp the torpedo protection, and do about 3200 damage. Climb up over the mountain, flying up another shot on the Byron. This one, I actually whiffed there because it was way too close to get a drop on the Byron. So I go ahead and start to go after the Fuso. Loft drop that sucker from the stratosphere. <laughs> so my planes went back up over the island and... They do arm in time. One, two, get two hits. 2,500 and 3,900 damage off of the Fuso for a little, around, a little over 6,000 damage. So this kid right here, look at the main map right now. My entire team is going to D. This kid is begging for help. So I've decided I'm going to stick back. I'm going to help him. I'm going to be a good carrier. I'm going to help my destroyer out while everyone else runs to D. I know the carrier is moving to D, but I mean, hey, the planes are what's important. Get a good salvo off there. I think that was the bomb that I hit again. And now I have activated my dive bombers. Again, these suckers are really nice. However, they do only, each plane does only have one bomb. It's a big old bomb. And it can sit all the crap out of battleships, but it is frustrating when you miss with these suckers. So there I've gone and set my um, carrot go hide behind that island at C8. And now I am just, uh, climbing back up over this mountain to get another good approach up on this Byron. And there is that 
kid in chat begging someone on the team to back him up. And ooh, got those bombs a little high. I got one non-pin. Oh, they did. I get to defend ribbon, so that was kind of nice. So another thing about the Graf Zeppelin's torpedo and dive bombers is that the planes are incredibly fast. I was just doing around 260 knots just then. So I floor it to try to avoid most of this AA. I'm trying to get another lineup on this Bayern. Come back around, pull a hard, hard right. Get in front of the ship and start the, the uh, dive. Those are going to... Yep, they go just wide of the ship. You know, I do get another defend ribbon even though I didn't hit the ship, but hey, you know. I'll take it. So that didn't work out too well. So I pop the um, the rocket planes so I can give my bombers a bit time to rearm even though I am, they're actually going to have a full flight wing here again. But there are a lot of cruisers over here and the dive bombers and torpedo bombers are the best thing at attacking cruisers. So I decided to take the attack planes out for that reason as well. And again, you see this one kid, he's staying behind. He, he's a determined little little fella. But no one else on my team is staying behind to help him. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six ships on this flank. And it's just me and this kid now dedicated to this flank. So I'm going to run up on the barn. My plane's just started fire here and hit his superstructure. And... Not too bad, three pins, although the Bayern superstructure is kind of a low profile superstructure compared to some of the other German battleships. It's just absolutely massive superstructure. So, not all that much superstructure to hit in the first place. But there that Icarus is spotted, I already dropped the fighter over him. So now I'm going after him. So you get Icarus, a Perth, a York, New Orleans, all on this flank. And... There we go, 4,000 damage with the uh, rockets right then. There's only three rockets pinning that Icarus, but man, they pinned him pretty dang good. You see, my rocket planes are getting kind of chewed up, so I'm trying to leave all this AA, but I just recall them before I get out of there because they're probably going to die anyway. That's just wasting my time still manually flying them out of the AA. So now I've done selected my dive bombers again because I'm sad I'm going after that Bayern once again. Because Graf Zeppelin is best at dealing with, again, battleships, so I'm going after the battleships first. That's why I decided at this point, because I was going to go after the cruiser, but then I decided, well, I mean, I might as well deal with the battleships first, the best thing that the Graf Zeppelin's at. Uh, the thing that Graf Zeppelin is the best at doing, so I'm going to deal with them first, then we'll pick up the cruisers later. So again, look, kids in the smoke, Nuremberg is the closest ship to him, and he's still going away from the ACAP. And all those ships that were at A, they are now at D. So I figured, well, they can handle D by themselves with most, with literally the entire team over, over there. So I'm, I'm going to go over here and help this kid out. So kid is currently unleashing a rainbow of artillery shells on the Perth, and we just lost our Nuremberg and a Hatsu Haru. And we're down half our team now, and they've only lost one battleship. That was a bit of a crappy run up, but hey, look, I get a Citadel. We're down one, two, three, four, five ships to their one battleship that we've managed to sunk this entire game. And that's it. This ain't looking too hot for us right now. Coming back up on the Bayern. And let's see what this does. A little wide, but kapow, the double citadel there. Look, he's down to three digit uh, health. And this happens to be so much now. I'll get a ship down to just three digits left of health, and they won't die. Now, I'm losing planes like crazy now because they've been in A for so long. Got one dive bomber out. Can he make No, he can't make it. So I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> so I pop my torpedo bombers now. Now, I chose the torpedo bombers because they're fast enough to where they can get through the AA and they can guarantee me a kill on a Byron. Plus, the Byron is a battleship. It has a heal. So it's more than likely going to pop its heal by the time I get back over there. And we just lost our Atlantis. So now we are down six ships to so their three ships. We're at two to eight. Hey, look at that. He's repairing. We're down 2-1 to one now at this point. We are down by just under 300. Uh, about 250-260 points. Um, just some quick math I did in my head. So, again, this is not looking good for us. We've got this huge flank just coming at us. So, if these guys get through, they're just going to steamroll our team. And put a huge lead on those torpedoes uh, at the Bayern. And, again, you need that lead because these torpedoes are so dang slow. One, two, three. Two torpedo hits on the Bayern again, triple digits, 300 health, and again our kit is pinging 
the rest of our team asking for help. And... I mean, all I need to do is just freaking clip him with one torpedo and he's done. And that happens. <laughs> so, I just do this absolutely wild approach on the per Just drop those, get those planes to come back to the carrier, and launch my uh, attack planes. So that's one Byron down. And it's a Perth now charging my kid. Perth does have Hydro. And I do not think it has Radar, but it does have Hydro. It's got that really cool moving smoke screen as well. And kid is asking for help in chat. I'm telling him that I'm trying. Just so, I mean, he sees that I am, but I'm just letting him know. And trying to get other people to maybe join up on us. Alright, so now we are kind of balanced on points and ships now. Enemy team is down seven ships. We are down seven ships. I need to give those so quick maths in my head. Yep, so, so both down seven each. I'm not a math teacher and it's late at night. <laughs> so start my attack on the Perth with my rocket planes. That Perth absolutely shooted the kid. Kid does have a heal though, and let's see what this does. 3,600 damage and two fires. That's very lovely. Perth immediately puts those out. So any other fires I start will burn for the full time. Now Perth is detecting the kid or he's just taking guest shots at the kid. Now, Kid's a pretty strong tier 8 destroyer, especially in the current meta, um, given all the carriers. And it has a smoke screen, it's a down tiered Fletcher's, got a heal, very nice destroyer. And, th man, look at this kid go to town on this Perth, dude. My dudes. <laughs> and. Mm, got one pin on him, but he's smoked up. Ah, but Kid got him. So, that ship is dealt with. Now there's a ship capping B. Oh joy. So I try to get my extremely slow rocket planes over to B now. So it's either the Fuso, the, oh it's New Orleans, there it is. Full health New Orleans against a kid and a Graf Zeppelin. Going just American Cruiser, has a really decent AA, so this is going to be interesting. Get that sub out of, off on him, 2900 damage. But no fires, so now I launch my dive bombers, because heck, you know, why not? <laughs> and Kid is detected, New Orleans is opening up on him. Now, I believe New Orleans does have radar. So, that's going to make Kid's life a bit suckish. <laughs> so I start to move the ship up again, because if these guys get through, I'm going to be sitting in the open water. So I'm moving the Graf Zeppelin up to behind another island at E9. Here we go, I'm pulling up on this New Orleans. I'm trying to guess how much lead I need to give on him because he is a cruiser. And here we go. And I drop it on his bridge. And it hits his rudder and breaks his rudder. So yeah, pretty big, big lead is needed there. So this New Orleans, he... Looks like he hasn't used damage con yet or he has less stand. He's still, but you, no, he's still turning in a circle. So here we go. Ah, there you go. He just used damage con. He tries to open up. To, uh, he's being for the on right there, but... Mmm. That missed. So my rocket planes are ready. I take these bad boys out. Because, again, they are much better at dealing with cruisers than my dive bombers are. And now the enemy team is actually contesting... I'm sorry, they are still in B. The enemy team is... I mean, look at look at that cluster down there around uh, I... Uh, H... H9? J, uh, I9? Is an absolute cluster down there of friendly ships and enemy ships, and hmm. Well, that can either go one or two ways, but they have found the enemy carrier, who I haven't even seen this, this entire game, thankfully. So, New Orleans is trying to find safety behind this island right here, and it is of note that the enemy team is ahead on points right now by about 40. Now, Prince of Oregon did just sink the Shokaku, so now we have the points lead. Hello, New Orleans. Get a pretty decent attack run off on him, 2600 damage. Now I fly out because he has, he has popped his fighter consumable and that will simply shred my uh, planes if I stay within range of that. So I bait them away, turn around and decide, well, screw it, I need to go in because he's going to melt that kid if I, if I don't help him out. So go back in, full speed, full throttle, get my attack run going. And aim for a superstructure. Again, 2,900 damage. And his fighters are on my attack planes, and well, there they go. 
So now I'm going to use torpedoes because while... And this guy in chat, I love this guy in chat. He, in full caps, defend B when me and this kid have been over here fighting for our lives the entire time. So I sent him a message back. Now, I chose my torpedo bombs because I can force this New Orleans to maneuver to where he can't get the best angle and the best shots on the kid. And now that maybe this team down here is going to get, this group down here is going to get steamrolled, which they're, they're on our turpets, I'm going to start turning around and going back up north where there's just a New Orleans to deal with. Whew. So hello New Orleans. Again, not the best run up for um for Graf Zeppelin's torpedo planes, but hey, I'm just trying to maneuver to where he can't get the best shots out on the kid and kid has a pretty good angle at him. I'm just trying to get him to move. And he actually takes one torpedo there, 3900 damage and a flood. So either he's going to flood out and not be the pop damage cons. So again, any more flooding or any fires that me or the kids set, they are going to stick on this guy. So now, really oddly, he just stops. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to complain about that. Now, New Orleans is a cruiser, but I mean, hey, from that range, some of those torpedoes are going to connect pretty good. And look at that, they all do. There you go, that's kill number dose for me. Whew, alright, so he's done. But it's not over yet. Enemy team has three ships left. We have four ships left. We have the Kid, two destroyers, and me and the Graf Zeppelin. They have the Fuso and two cruisers left. And they are close to D. And our two cruisers at D are out of position. So they can just go into D and just stall the points. Which is all they would need to do to win. Or just sink one of those cruisers. And they still have a battleship who can absolutely delete those cruisers. Hey, look, there's a York. More on him later. So I get a run off on the Fuso, and now I pop my torpedo bombers again. Because, I mean, I'm going for the Fuso right now. I figured, well, I could work on him the fastest. But I'm thinking on the way over here, well, you know, if I can get one of those cruisers down, that'll give us a bit more cushion on the points to where if they get into D and start stalling the points, they'll win. Because then they'll have two caps versus our one cap. If they even just stall the points for a couple of seconds, that's all they would need to win. So I'm heading toward the Fuso. He's the only one detected right now. Then I'll go over here because I'm trying to find that York because that York is at pretty low health. If I can get a torpedo or two off on him, that's all we would need to win. So I do find the York was from the Cleveland. Get dropped some torps off on the Cleveland. I'm going back around. I'm like, mm, nah, he's at 5,000 health. Remember what I said about the rocket planes earlier? All I need to do with them is land most of them, and they'll do about 5,000 damage to cruisers. So, I take the rocket planes back out. So, right now, we only have a 15, 20-ish point difference between the two of us. So, again, all they would need to do is either sink a cruiser or just stall the cap for, for 10 seconds. And they would win. So, it is now my mission to sink that York to secure... Our victory. Now, unfortunately, there's a Cleveland between me and him, and again, at the start of this video, I said these planes aren't that great at taking damage, and I just lost two of them. They're all at yellow health now. Here we go. One run out on the York. He's turning into me. I dropped the rockets on him. <laughs> He's at 1200 health. I'm like, okay, I still got three planes left. Just turn around, just get a couple of them off, and that are one of our cruisers back there's extremely low health. Now, two planes, one plane. You can do it, little buddy. 400 health left on him and they're about to get into the B cap not only that they're shooting at our cruisers that are at low health and targeting the one for this back because he's at really low health so now I I'm in the dive bombers pop that speed boost I need to go warp speed to get to that York to sink him because it, anything could happen right 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 now this is extremely close they have to just poke one of our ships and they will win so I'm flying as fast as I can. People are trying to, other uh, team is trying to shoot that York. I engage the dive, and all I need is one of these bombs to hit that York. Off they go, and there we go—a citadel for a couple of hundred damage wins the game. This was an intense match. Me and that kid were having to hold that west flank, and if we hadn't done that, enemy team would have came around, got our team caught, and and won a hell of a crossfire. And that would have been game. So 91,000 damage. That's a lot, not a lot of damage. But I'm number one of the team. Boy, me and that kid did some work. I sent him, him a compliment. 
He sent me a compliment. Hot, hot heat. Dude, my hat is off to you. You ran that kid like a machine. That was an amazing game. That is the... That shows the power of just teamwork right there. A destroyer and a carrier working together managed to hold that flank. And this is where I grabbed the thumbnail of the Graf Zeppelin with the epic uh, lighting and such on them. And man, that was the wombo combo to save the game right there. That that was a fun match. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but man, that was freaking fun. Whew. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to, by the time this comes out, we'll probably be at 2,500 subscribers. So we're on our way to 3,000 subscribers now. If the channel keeps growing like it does, we should be by 2,500 by the time this video comes out on Wednesday. If not, let's finish getting to 2,500 and then we can get going on to 3,000. So, whew. Man, I'm still thinking about how fun that game was and how intense that was. But anyway, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I hope to see all you guys in the next one. Thank you.